The chamber would like now to give the opportunity to the civil party council for groups of the civil party council to put questions to this expert witness. The four group civil party councils have the combined total time allocation of 30 minutes. You may now proceed. D'un temps au total de 30 minutes. Hong Kong Soon. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Bonjour, Madame et Messieurs les Juges. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Hong Kong Soon, a civil party lawyer. For group one, two, three, and four in this special arrangement, I represent all the four groups today to put questions to this expert witness. I would seek the president's permission if I need a little bit of extra time. Au témoin expert, il est possible que je dépasse le temps qui m'est imparti. Doctor, based on your description in regard to the Monsieur. trauma, Sur, uh, si on does parle de the votre trauma experienced trauma. by the victims of the Democratic Cambodia regime, and in this case, is related to the S21 Security Office, which is currently known as the Tootsline Genocidal Museum. Communément désigné sous le nom du musée du génocide de Tootsline. The types of trauma as experienced by those victims. S'agissant du type du type du trauma. The most severe trauma experienced by those victims. Je voulais savoir quels sont les aspects les plus extrêmes de ce trauma for your question. The trauma experienced by the victims of S21 office. Réponse. Je vous remercie. Les traumas vécus par les victimes. I cannot say for sure which types of trauma is deteriorating or getting worse. I can say that they are still experiencing the trauma. They still. Je pense can't recall the events that happened, they still experience the nightmares, the depression, and the difficulties, the challenges they face on a daily basis. And this difficulty is one of the factors for them not to easily heal the trauma they experience. Other factors, including the trauma they experience, the, the difficulty in their daily living conditions, that they cannot uh, act freely, and that they have difficulty in raising their family. And these are common difficult experience by those people. Thank you, says the council. Regarding S21, the museum, as it is known now, Question, je vous remercie. Most of the victims are the relatives of those executed at S21. En fait, des parents ou des proches des victimes exécutées à S21. What are the main reasons? Toujours s'agissant de S21. Quelles sont les raisons principales? For the victims wanting to know the exact location of the dead. Que les victimes veulent vraiment savoir à quel endroit. What are the connections between the place of the date and their psychological experience? Response. Thank you for the question, the council. 
réponse. Je voulais dire que, au début, je voulais parler de la famille et du social environnement au Cambodge. La situation familiale et du social environnement au Cambodge est que nous vivons dans une famille séparée. Et marqué par le fait que les personnes vivent séparément. Le impact de la relation est tendu. And the closeness between each family member who might be the dead victims or the victims who are survivors now. Sur des personnes qui vivent de manière rapprochée les unes des autres. And the team, those people who died, could be the ones who assisted them, who had gratitude over them. So the death of such dear people or relatives are exactly the same type of suffering they would experience. And the secondary traumatization experienced by them is the post-traumatic stress disorder Concerne or the trauma, even if they are not the direct victims of the mistreatment si or torture, but due to the closeness of the relationship between them and the dead people leads to the secondary traumatization, the hearing of the torture or the mistreatment or other events related to their death would cause the secondary traumatization in a similar fashion experienced by those people who died. This is my response, Council. Thank you, says the Council. Voilà ma réponse, Maître. Question, je vous remercie. My next question is related to the responsibility of the leadership of the Democratic Cambodia regime, or which is commonly known as the Khmer Rouge the clique. In the proceedings before this chamber, there have been several responses, especially from the accused Kang Gat Eo, Referring to Anka or the upper echelon or the standing committee, who issued orders? My question is: the establishment of a regime was done by human beings or by those group of intellectuals who established such a regime, and establishment of a regime with the plans to execute people. In comparison to a regime established not to kill people, that's the idea of executing people different from the idea of the establishment of a regime for the progress of the society. Response. Réponse. First of all, I do not have uh, an expertise in analyzing a situation in such fashion. But it is my opinion that what was done by the Khmer Rouge regime is completely inappropriate. Thank you, Mr. Council. Inadéquat. The killing of people during the Khmer Rouge regime Question. left behind the, suffer the suffering experienced by the survivors at present, as we have all heard. My question is, the responses of those people who were the leaders or most responsible for the Khmer Rouge atrocity, who do not accept their responsibility and who do, who say do, not, they do not know who created such a possibility and that was not really helpful for the victims at all. 
et qui a créé un tel système. Cela Response. est quelque chose qui n'est pas, n'est pas, earlier, n'est-ce pas, les victimes. The, the, the psychological réponse. healing. Comme je l'ai dit, la guérison by the victims of the Khmer Rouge regime is dependent on the honesty de l'honnêteté that the accused or the former leaders of the Democratic Cambodia show or express or acknowledge. We all know who is responsible for the killing of the Cambodian people. So the, the, the habit of irresponsibility or the absence of responsibility is an extra burden placed upon the victims, not only the civil parties to this proceeding, but on the Cambodian people as a whole. They are not happy and they feel furious of such inability. Thank you, Mr. Uh, My uh, next uh, question uh, is, uh, uh, Doctor, the Cambodian population, either the victimized survivors question. of the Khmer Rouge regime or the younger generation Soit of those people who are born after the Khmer Rouge regime, they regime all have uh, similar types of trauma. Does the participation in this chamber or the monitoring of the proceedings would relieve them of their des, suffering? Des au sein de la population peut contribuer à penser Response. à euh, alléger le participation in the proceedings could uh, result in guérison in two ways the hearing or the participation would cause the recurrence of the experience that of the events or experience that they faced long time ago and that they would experience again the nightmares or the unsettling feelings. However, it also would help them if they have the ability or the opportunity to express the feeling or the trauma they have experienced to a certain degree. But I am not in a position to say that it could assist them completely to heal the psychological wound of trauma. Thank you, Sister Council. Thank you, Question. Question. The victims or the civil parties to this proceeding les victimes ou les parties civiles à la présente procédure know or are aware of the of the fact that they would like to seek justice for themselves or so for their late relatives and to seek for the truth. And in order to settle their feeling or to heal their psychological trauma based on your experience, what can be done to assist them, de faire pour les aider to assist those uh, traumatized victims of the Khmer Rouge regime in order to fulfill these two points. Response. Réponse. Knowing the truth, receiving the Savoir fair and justice, vérité, la justice and the acceptance of apology or forgiveness de are the important factors for the healing of their psychological wounds. However, the trauma Cependant, that they experience le trauma needs to be healed or treated by doit être aussi a proper service. Traité. Et soigné par des services the trauma they experience is uh, severe and it needs to be tackled with uh, properly and carefully. Yeah, we all know the psychological service in Cambodia is minimal and the psychological experts are in few number. So the service given to them is also inadequate. In addition, I believe, je crois en outre, the Khmer Rouge regime destroyed regime every infrastructure and they lost completely almost everything, including the D1 or the opportunity to do anything else. They still believed that 
if there were no Khmer Rouge regime, they would be in a completely different position, in a better position, in a higher edu education or better living condition. They have lost their identity, they have lost their trust and belief, and these are also serious factors that we need to tackle carefully in order to assist them. And we have to do this jointly in order for them to in order to heal their wounds by providing them the justice they deserve. Thank you, Mr. Council. With the President's leave, I would like Merci my international colleagues to proceed with the question. The President, the International Civil Party Council, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good day, sir. C'est moi vous exprimer d'abord la, la gratitude que nous avons euh, au fait que vous ayez accepté de venir témoigner. Cela est, euh, est important euh, pour, nos, pour nos clients et nous vous, nous vous sommes gré de cela. Ma première question, monsieur, euh, docteur, est-ce correct que vous avez travaillé également en consultation avec les survivants directs de S21 uh, SL21. But, but response, that is correct. We said exact. Um, y a-t-il, docteur, des and, symptômes uh, doctor, spécifiques dont are there les specific symptoms which the, the direct survivors of uh, S21 uh, suffer from, according to your observations? But, um, response. Can you add some? I would like to separate the types of symptoms into two. Il y a deux First, des I would like to talk about the symptoms related to the medical psychology. Il y a des qui That's those victims. De la psychiatrie. Are uh, they psychological victims, victim. or they are traumatized victims in various forms? For example, the post-traumatic stress disorder, post and the depression, de depression, the physical feeling, or. The other physique, diseases, including hypertension, chronic disease, or diabetes, as a result of those events. De ces passés. However, I would like to stress that they are souligner. the types of diseases they, they experience. But there are also other impacts que regarding the trauma. Impact ne se limite pas à ces maladies. There have been an interpretation of the word post-traumatic stress disorder into Khmer as a Jungu Baksbat. It is different between the general trauma and the PTSD so we have to know the difference between the medical trauma or medical psychological trauma and the post-traumatic stress disorders. The survivors of the Khmer Rouge regime say they experienced the post-traumatic stress disorders of the Khmer Rouge regime. This shows that they have fear, suffering, the avoidance, the anger, and the blinding out and the avoidance of committing other et things, the mistrust, for instance. Aussi, uh, and these are all the symptoms that are experienced by the survivors at limited or at various levels. Survivants. And the other thing niveaux. is the social psychological trauma also experienced by the victims in general and those specific victims of the S21. So if you look at the medical psychological trauma that is different from the social psychological trauma which is more serious than the medical psychological trauma. Merci beaucoup, Doctor.
Maintenant, Thank you very much, par rapport au deuxième groupe, Now, uh, aux proches to des gens détenus S21, uh, vous l'avez mentionné, mais uh, j'aimerais savoir si vous pouvez nous donner plus de spécificités. S, Comme vous le savez, S21 avait des caractéristiques, et notamment un expert est venu dire à cette chambre que le but des terribles conditions de détention S21 était de casser la résistance des détenus avant d'être interrogés. Les autres, d'autres experts et témoins sont venus en long et en large parler de l'étendue et de la cruauté des méthodes de torture à S21 par opposition aux autres centres de détention. Est-ce que pour ce groupe de proches, les proches des gens détenus à S21, est-ce que vous avez observé des symptômes spécifiques pour les membres des familles de gens qui ont été détenus dans ce centre de détention in that detention center. But some uh, response. Thank you for the question. This question is similar to that uh, put to me by the previous council. We have observed that uh, there is a concept showing or indicating the secondary traumatization. It means that the victims were not directly involved with the event. They hurt or they were the relatives of those people. And they also received the psychological a trauma or impact. We all know that there has been a research in the Western countries that the next or the younger generation or the victims experience the traumatic stress disorders. So it is clear that either the, the direct victims or the the children of the victims do experience the trauma. I would like to stress that the parents who experience trauma, namely the torture during the Khmer Rouge regime, the, the trauma could be shown to their children and the, the, the children would observe and witness the suffering inflicted upon their parents and they would, they would try to work harder in order to assist their parents, to assist them psychologically as well. Another point, the thinking and the behavior of the parents or the victims does have an influence on the way of thinking of the children or the relatives. And this seems to be a transferring of trauma from the victims to their relatives or to their children, as I have said earlier, which is known as the secondary traumatization. And this has been, the research has been conducted and proved that it exists. Thank you, Dr. Nos clients nous parlent sans cesse et sont venus exprimer devant cette cour leur sentiment de culpabilité, un sentiment qui, um, qui est engendré par le fait qu'elles n'ont pas pu protéger leurs proches de la cruauté ou n'ont pas pu faire plus pour leurs proches qui ont été torturés à S21. Est-ce que vous avez observé dans votre consultation ce sentiment de culpabilité exprimé par les proches des personnes qui ont été détenues à S21 by the relatives or those close to persons who were detained in S21. But, um, Response. We have observed uh, various indications oui. regarding this aspect. Nous avons plusieurs the, 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 the sign of guilt they seem to have cette culpabilité ressentie in theory par les proches victims of torture 
in a category that they could not do anything to change the situation. And that type of feeling could freeze them and that they could not act voluntarily or do anything to alter the outcome of the situation. And that feeling is shown in some of the victims. For Et instance, ce one victim se manifeste chez les who victimes, par exemple, received tortures together with his wife and the wife passed away, that feeling femme, mais, mais would be with him for for a long time because he felt that he was in a situation that he could not do anything, that he was helpless. And he still has that experience at present time. And sometimes in his dreams, he would see his wife coming to appeal for his help. Doctor, et la question vous a été posée, mais je voudrais savoir si vous voulez nous donner plus de spécificité par rapport à l'impossibilité pour nos clients de faire le deuil. Um, pour la plupart d'entre elles, il n'y a pas de sépulture, il n'y a pas de corps, il n'y a pas de funérailles. Est-ce que vous pouvez confirmer que ce fait-là contribue de façon concrète à l'acuité, à l'intensité de la douleur qui est encore présente aujourd'hui pour nos victimes Est-ce que vous pouvez confirmer cela, docteur Est-ce que vous pouvez confirmer cela, docteur I would like to emphasize that there are not many people who could arrange the religious ceremonies to pay homage actually to the death soul. Only very few of them who exhumed the body of the people who died and buried during those times. So in general, it is not really a common practice by many victims because many victims uh, who are my clients and who have been consulted by our colleagues uh, have not uh, been able to do that uh, and they have no trace of uh, whereabouts uh, their loved one would have been buried. So these factors have contributed to the delay uh, their suffering, à la persistance de la as I had indicated earlier, that uh, the Buddhist uh, religious uh, practices and the ceremonial uh, traditional ways uh, of ceremonies to pay homage to the dead souls uh, uh, to wish them morts. rest in peace uh, is a good therapy for uh, the people who have been traumatized uh, by the regime. But until the regime now, there are still Mais very few jour, of them who have really uh, resorted to these uh, practices. Mr. President, I have two extra questions. Uh, may I please continue? Merci. Thank you. Docteur, Docteur, nous les avocats des parties civiles, we, nous avons eu beaucoup, beaucoup de peine lawyers, we had à convaincre nos clients convincing de venir parler, pour certains d'entre eux, à tout le moins, de venir parler them to come devant, uh, devant cette cour. Before this Et court. même parfois, à la dernière and minute, certains se sont sentis trop fragiles minute, uh, some pour venir uh, s'exprimer. Nous avons dû à plusieurs reprises retirer des noms qui étaient prévus uh, parce que here. précisément so nos clients à la, la dernière minute n'avaient pas la force ne se sentaient pas capables courage, um, de venir um, témoigner uh, est-ce que vous pouvez testifying. confirmer so docteur encore aujourd'hui selon dans votre consultation, beaucoup de gens, en effet, many se sentent encore tellement fragiles so fragile qu'ils ou qu'elles ne peuvent pas venir they témoigner et confronter la crise aujourd'hui. Est-ce correct, selon, selon vos observations Est-ce uh, uh, correct, according to what you have observed Bonjour. 
bản miền cả ta There are several factors uh, that I can explain that are related to this. First, uh, it is the psychological matter, the, the la, thing la that uh, never been treated before. So I really appreciate those victims who have brave enough to je, appear before the court, the court but many of them are still living with the suffering the and they are too traumatized that they are discouraged to attend in the proceedings. Some of them said that when they observed the proceedings and having seen the accused, there, there is a kind of moment of flashbacks because they could recall what would have happened many years ago. So the only way to stop them from refreshing the memory of pain uh, is to avoid coming here. So That's why this is the main problem that people are living with. And we all are quite uh, aware that during the Khmer Rouge regime, it is a very barbaric regime, the regime that the root cause of the infrastructure, religious beliefs, and all kind of social interaction were smashed to bits. So this has affected uh, severely on the livelihood, uh, the emotions of the people who now live to tell the story. They have felt that uh, they are not secured. There has no safety for them to be able to talk in the public. They live with fear still. And uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, taught people to mistrust one another, to put people to spy on one another. So this kind of factors created the situation in which people did not rely on anyone. They perceived everyone surrounding them as uh, the people they fear. And uh, a lot of victims uh, we met uh, told us that they have no Les trust uh, in anyone and the lack of trust uh, is the very uh, great contributor to their uh, avoidance to talk in the public. Au fait que ces personnes évitent de parler en public. Merci, Docteur. Ma dernière question. Uh, thank you. Certains My de nos clients question. ont perdu non pas leur mère, Some of leur our père, clients not only lost leur frère, leur mère, leur frère, 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 So how can you explain that people who might have lost their brother-in-law or their grandfather or more distant relatives might feel pain in such an acute way? Response. It depends on the attachment, uh, the linkages between the person to the that uh, person. In Cambodian society and family, the Cambodian society has the tradition of showing homage, gratitude, respect to the senior members of the family. So the younger children or members of the family must have had established some kind of connection with the dead people. Those people who die could have being the role model, Avec the, le défunt, the le mentors for them. So pour eux. this establishes a kind of bond, Cela crée un uh, lien. the very close uh, bond uh, for the people étroit, hein. who live 
and who have to pay the gratitude to the dead people. Et so they have to find the ils all means to return their gratitude to them. So only by way of finding justice for them would be the best remedy. That's why they have joined as the civil party in these proceedings. Merci beaucoup, Doctor, à mes Thank questions. you very much, Doctor, for having answered my questions. The President, the Chamber would like to give the floor to the Defense Council to put questions to the experts. The Council has 30 minutes to proceed with the questions. So, Mr. Kassavut, Mr. President, thank you, Your Honours. Good morning, Doctor. Bonjour, According to the trials, here yeah, the Khmer Rouge trials, and uh, you indicated that uh, these trials will heal the wounds, the emotional or psychological wounds of the victims. I may have to ask you a question. In the basis and the prisons, more than 200 prisons in Cambodia, Cambodian people have been quite familiar who were the perpetrators during the Khmer regime because people could really point the finger to the perpetrators who actually tied up their loved one and uh, executed them. So, the perpetrators in those prisons are not being trialed. Those perpetrators in all those prisons across the country have not been brought charges against. So, the question is, how can the wounds, the psychological wounds of those victims have been healed if the perpetrators, all perpetrators, have never been uh, put uh, on trial. Response. Thank you. It is true, of course, the road to find justice for the victims Certes, la voie de la justice pour les victimes. and as the trial and the, this hybrid court has the jurisdiction to trial only the most in need and responsible people, the upper apparatus of the Khmer Rouge regime, donc, uh, la but uh, it does not have the jurisdiction to trial the perpetrators, the who are now living with the victims in the communities among those victims. And I think it is really difficult uh, for the victims because victims have to live together with their perpetrators. They go to the same pagoda. They use the same local resources. They have to share all the resources in the community. So the social interaction on a daily basis makes it very difficult for the victims, and this even prolong the suffering of those victims. But I would like to reiterate that we have to do our best to make sure that the Justice can be done on several stages. En plusieurs étapes. Justice at this court is seen as a symbolic justice because 
un peu We are now trying hein, this most senior Khmer Rouge leaders but to heal the wounds, wounds the psychological wounds of the victims in the community is to establish a mechanism for reconciliation the reconciliation that lead to the more psychological heal Uh, cette guérison I don't exactly know Je ne sais what pas mechanism would be best, but I believe that we, the NGOs, the local authority and the government, should really join hands in establishing a forum, a common forum or reconciliating forums to use the forums as the venue for Uh, healing the pains of those victims and I think it would be another option peine. that we create what we call uh, a local court to really help uh, heal the wounds of the local people. Mr. Kassavut, thank you doctor. The next question is I just would like you to just clarify on it. This question is quite similar to those uh, questions asked uh, by the international co prosecutor already. So, for clarification, I would like the doctor to shed also light on this. Uh, so far, the civil parties, the victims, have known that the accused received orders from the superiors. They are quite familiar that the accused had to order his subordinates uh, through a chain of command and that the civil parties are knowledgeable that the accused has never executed any victim in person. And the civil parties and victims have known that the accused has never uh, tortured any person in person and the accused has in many several occasions prayed Uh, and express his remorse uh, and, and, and begged for remorse, forgiveness from the civil parties and victims. But uh, the surviving civil parties and victims still deny such uh, apology and uh, uh, opportunity to seek forgiveness. So I may ask uh, the Cette Doctor, de how we can actually Alors heal the sufferings of the civil parties and the victims to make sure that they fully recover and then they are in the position to forgive and forget. À faire en sorte qu'elles puissent laisser ces choses là dans le Response. passé. This is a very good question, pardonner. but it is difficult to answer. Une très bonne que vous me posez là. I would réponse, like to accept that trouver. the civil parties have been suffering Je dire que les psychologically and psychologiquement they have been suffered, uh, suffering for many years. Depuis de nombreuses années. And they have expressed their anger and their emotions colère, according to what they have had suffered. According to the theory that when one can express their feeling or emotion publicly, it is a kind of process to heal or to um, reconciliate. Reconciliation. I don't say that uh, it is a Je process to fully heal the wound or the suffering, but it is the step to des that uh, destination. Dans cette voie. The, this kind of em emotions could have been expressed uh, by the civil party and that uh, it is good that the accused express his remorse and it is really an open opportunity for healing the suffering. I think now it is it depends on the honesty, the faithfulness of the 
accused de to be able de la bonne to foi de express uh, d'être or to tell the victims or the civil parties that uh, whatever he has expressed uh, in his remorseful uh, statements uh, is genuine and very sincere. Eh bien, quelque chose and de, de uh, some individuals, of sincère. course, cannot really accept Certains such apologies even for the whole life, uh, but some will be able to forgive and forget. La fin de leur vie. Mr. Castle, what do thank you, the doctor with the president's leave. May I share the floor with uh, the international colleague? De the president, uh, the international defense council, you may now proceed. La parole et laisser intervenir mon collègue international, le président. Maître Roux, je vous en prie. Merci, Mr. Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Doctor. A lot has already been said. And you are providing a fundamental contribution uh, to these proceedings. And I would like to thank you for this. Encore peut-être quelques questions. On a still have a few questions, however. Évidemment, we have, of course, débordé largement gone way beyond la question de the S21, issue of S21, puisqu'on a évoqué avec vous depuis ce matin les traumatismes subis par le trauma that uh, the entire Cambodian population went through. Vous venez de, and uh, de parler you de have just spoken about uh, what we could imagine as being among the Cambodian population ces procès as que being vous avez qualifié de symbolique and what would happen after this trial that you qualified as uh, symbolic. Une première question, and my Monsieur first question, avez, avez do you have any information sur ce que on ces what I would call vérité et these small truth and reconciliation commissions that certains, seem to be taking uh, place in certain, certain provinces, provinces, in certain parts of Cambodia, do you have, uh, in the context of your organization, have you been implied in implicated, correct interpreter, uh, in these en encounters between victims and executioners throughout the country? And can you tell us something about this? But some accordance. Um, Response. Response. Thank you for the question. Merci de m'avoir posé cette question. In relation to the interference, TPO has uh, conducted so far. Du travail mené par TPO so far, we have présent. not uh, been dealing with the perpetrators in the community. The suffering, the trauma is tremendous for the whole community. And we only focus on the general interference uh, to deal with uh, the general population. And uh, we have budget constraints that we cannot really extend our effort uh, to that extent yet. But we believe that after the mission of this hybrid court comes to an end, we will do something to help reconciliate the community. Du travail de ces chambres, nous aurons the international tribunal is here to heal the wound of the national level, but actually we have to focus on the community level.
Merci. Question. Thank you, first of all. Autre question tout à fait différente. Uh, completely different question now. On a beaucoup parlé We du spoke a lot pardon about dans forgiveness during these proceedings. Je voudrais And déjà I une première question like à l'expert. First of all, to put a question to Khmer. you as a Khmer person and as an expert, nous could you dans please la Khmer explain to us how in Khmer culture or what pardon. does forgiveness signify in Khmer culture? Je crois I que une notion believe that it is a different uh, notion from forgiveness as it is perceived in the West. Response. Thank you for the question. In Cambodian context, in relation to forgiveness, it relies on the question du Buddhist religion. Cela se, le pardon se fonde sur la religion. And this uh, forgiveness uh, can be interpreted bouddhique. in both the pardon, religious uh, way dans son exception and religieuse the human et being way. Dans son exception Humaine. However, if justice is done Cependant, and that the truth si is revealed, forgiveness is possible. And in Buddhism, si on à juger, those who commit wrongdoing will possible. receive some kind of bad merits or, or reaction in the next life. Uh, on but in our human society, it is obvious that uh, those who commit crimes, then they have to be punished. Nous savons que ceux qui sont l'auteur de crimes doivent être punis. Victims Les who can see that uh, although no punishment could be uh, inflicted on the perpetrators during this life, but they believe that next life uh, they would uh, be suffering from what they did uh, wrongfully. Merci. Mr. Who, thank you. Monsieur le Président, je Mr. President, que I besoin de un peu plus de temps. Je ne sais pas si vous souhaitez interrompre I do not maintenant. know if you wish to adjourn right now, but I will need a bit more time. You may proceed uh, because you still have uh, for the time until uh, 7 past 12. Jusqu'à midi 7. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Je ne suis pas sûr d'avoir terminé à midi 7, mais on va déjà progresser. I'm not sure that I'll be done by 7 past 12, but uh, we can move on, however. Uh, J'ai été I gêné, Monsieur l'expert, quand certaines personnes dans cette audience some people ont brandi le pardon comme si c'était quelque chose de facile. Uh, J'ai aimé easy. que vous rappeliez like que le pardon est un lent processus qui va that certainement bien au-delà de cette audience. These proceedings. Et pour ma part, and as far je as ne I'm comprends concerned, pas très bien que l'on puisse ici well même dire à une victime tell a victim qui vient exprimer sa souffrance êtes-vous prêt à pardonner Ça n'est pas le débat d'aujourd'hui. 
Et vous avez rappelé And you reminded us que c'est à partir du moment où justice sera passée done, que peut-être, maybe, peut-être, maybe, des choses pourront advenir entre les victimes et l'accusé. Mais ai-je raison de dire qu'il est trop tôt right aujourd'hui pour demander brutalement to à une victime « Êtes-vous prête à pardonner ?» Réponse. Thank you, Defense Counsel. Je vous remercie, Maître. I would like to verify that I do not have expertise in dealing je with the forgiveness or justice issues, but this morning there has been discussions and questions regarding the forgiveness and the psychological trauma, for instance, le and my response is might uh, be unclear or insufficient. Être, uh, clair, Anyhow, I would like to say that this extraordinary chamber dire que ces at this stage of the proceedings à cette étape for des forgiveness, and I, I tend to agree with you, is pardon, still too early. d'accord avec vous, il est trop tôt. Nothing has been shown clearly through de both the civil parties and the general public who have been following the proceedings so far. Qui, uh, so this is going to be a long process. And it, it could even happen after the trial. Peut-être que ce processus pourra survenir une fois le procès terminé. Is a le pardon est un processus. And it is both Individual à la fois and un processus communal. Individuel For et individual collectif. forgiveness, it also differs from one individual to individuel, another. Individual eh bien, depends on the understanding of that individual person, individu, or based on his or her own experience and acknowledgement sa, of what happened, and the acceptability level of the responses passé, made by the accused. So this is a very complicated issue when we talk about the acceptance of forgiveness, ici, and some people will probably hold back their pardon, anger and would not release it for the rest of their lives. Compli complexe, This is just uh, from my personal opinion. Vont être enfermés dans la colère, et ceci jusqu'à la fin de leur jour. Voilà ma réponse. Merci. Est-ce que vous êtes d'accord avec Defense moi counsel, thank pour you. dire qu'il faut bien uh, distinguer l'accusé qui dit « je vous demande pardon » qui est la première partie de la proposition which represents the first part et le pardon of the que donnera ou and ne donnera pas the un jour that will be la victime. Or that will Ce sont not be deux choses différentes. Est-ce que vous êtes d'accord avec These moi pour dire qu'aujourd'hui, la responsabilité de l'accusé, c'est de demander pardon is, uh, to Mais la victime n'a aucune obligation aujourd'hui no d'accorder son pardon. Est-ce que nous pouvons être d'accord sur le fait Can que ce sont deux choses différentes. Réponse. I think it is too early Je pense qu'il est trop tôt. Has not yet been shown clearly. Car rien n'a été clairement montré. Whether the Seeking for forgiveness sur la recherche to the civil de pardon vis-à-vis -vis des the issue is still fresh and I tend to agree with you. It's going to be a long, drawn out process for the forgiveness or the seeking for forgiveness Et le that could occur at the later stage. Et long, il pourra débuter. I think the most important thing is 
je dirais que la chose la plus importante est de révéler the la vérité events that what happened, de what chercher happened, à savoir so that ce qui s'est passé quels ont été les relieved. faits de manière And à soulager les feelings of the uncertainty of the events that occurred trouver réponse ago. aux incertitudes des personnes ce, euh, aux zones d'ombre vis-à-vis de ce qui s'est passé il y a 30 ans Defense Council Merci Thank you. Madame le juge Calwright rappelé effectivement ici que Did nous sommes là pour établir la vérité des faits. Mais j'ai une autre question complémentaire. Les victimes, et c'est bien normal, veulent comprendre et vous l'avez dit, elle pose la question du pourquoi. Est-ce que vous ne pensez pas qu'il faut en même temps prévenir les victimes qu'elles n'auront pas toutes les réponses That they will not obtain qui all of the pourra answers. expliquer Who will be pourquoi in a position le régime de Pol Pot Est-ce que nous ne devons pas regime? enlever quelques illusions aux victimes Do we not need to remove some of the illusions Qui pourra comprendre Pol Pot Who will ever be in a position to understand Pol Pot que nous essayons d'établir la réalité des faits. That we are trying oui. to establish the veracity of facts. Mais le pourquoi uh, du régime yes. des Khmer Rouge, But as to quelqu'un sera-t-il un jour en mesure d'expliquer le pourquoi Will du régime des Khmer Rouge uh, Et donc ne faut-il pas préparer les victimes à l'idée should we not be preparing the victims que malheureusement, il faudra qu'elles acceptent de ne pas avoir toutes les réponses à leurs questions pourtant légitimes. Les questions sont légitimes. Mais ne faut-il pas les préparer à l'idée qu'elles n'auront pas forcément them, uh, toutes les réponses to the idea et que malgré ça, that they won't get all the il faudra qu'elles cherchent leur guérison in spite of that, they will need to seek closure. Thank you, Defense Council. This is a complicated issue related to a complicated response. I think it is important to know the truth and to receive justice. This is what the victims want. And these are one of the conditions that would lead to the healing of the psychological wound. À la guérison des But I think it is very difficult to achieve it. Je pense qu'il est it is à cette, my opinion that cet objectif, everyone selon moi, can't project a version of truth based on his or her understanding. En fonction de it is also dependent on the acceptance de la or acceptability of the truth de by la, the other party, namely the victims. De la In part brief, des victimes. En bref, it is difficult to show the truth. Il est difficile And people de who know the truth are only those who are the la vérité perpetrators sont and the God. Les bourreaux. Et Dieu. So the expression of truth is dependent on individual person and the ability of acceptability by the victims. I do not have any other response rather than this. Thank you. À la victime et vis-à-vis -vis de la victime. Uh, voilà ce que je voulais dire en réponse à votre question. The defense. Une dernière question, One last question. monsieur l'expert. Nous, vous nous avez décrit you un pays 
traumatisé par ce qui s'est passé et on le comprend. En même temps, quand on vient au Cambodge, on voit un pays en plein développement qui essaie de faire face à ce traumatisme qui essaie de faire face à ce drame et de se projeter dans l'avenir. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous dire quelques mots de ce que l'on appelle la résilience et est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner un peu d'espoir sur le fait que un jour le Cambodge pourra tourner la page. Réponse. Je vous remercie, maître. In the current process. And Dans from the fall of the Khmer Rouge regime, everyone of us at the individual level, social level, or government level, has attempted to raise the standard of our livelihood to rebuild the resources, human resources and financial resources, so that we have the ability to stand on our own. However, this does not mean we do not have any suffering. The suffering, the pain, is still there, but due to the inadequacy, we were forced to work harder to overcome all the obstacles in order to fulfill the needs of the livelihood. And, they, and that will put off the suffering issues. But at a certain stage, when the livelihood is improved, the situation is better, the suffering would re-occur or would emerge. As I have stated this morning to the victims, there have been several victims who, after what happened and after the living condition has improved, re-experience those, those sufferings and a trauma. So in the future, then the country as a whole has to, has to face the challenges of those re-experiencing trauma, of providing solutions and treatment to those people who would re-experience the trauma. And that is a complicated and serious burden placed upon the society as a whole. I do not know whether my response satisfies your question, Mr. Counsel, because your question seems to be long, so my response may not be sufficient. I do not know whether my response satisfies your question. Oui, merci, Monsieur l'expert. Merci pour euh, well, you, ce travail sir, que vous menez. Et comme vous l'avez compris, je crois que dans cette enceinte, à notre sure manière, nous essayons uh, aussi de, uh, de permettre ce travail walls, pour le bien du Cambodge. Merci, Monsieur l'expert. Hong Kong Soon, uh, Mr. President, I would like to seek your permission as I did not want to interrupt the Defense Council, the National Defense Council, who said that all the victims know, all know that Dutch received orders from their superiors. I would like to say that the victims do not know about that, but they heard through Dutch of uh, that statement. The president, the president, 
the chamber would like now to give the opportunity to the accused to make his observation offrir l'occasion à l'accusé de nous faire part de ses observations concernant la teneur de des propos de l'expert in relation to the reasons which lead to the trauma the psychological trauma or the various impact of the psychological trauma as a remnant of the Khmer Rouge regime placed upon the people and the nation. The accused, Mr. President, Monsieur le President. First of all, I would uh, like to say a few words regarding the achievement of Dr. Chum Sotira. Dire quelques mots concernant les I do not have any psychological knowledge, l'expert. Je ne dispose pas de connaissances dans le domaine de la psychologie. Cependant, achievement. Il me semble, as it is based on pure scientific reason in interpretation without any bias car c'est quelque chose qui a été dit sans parti pris sur des résultats de recherche scientifique so et sur, cette, sur la base de cette réflexion scientifique. Voilà mes commentaires vis-à-vis -vis du travail time, de M. Chem Sotira. I would like to express to my en même temps, je souhaiterais exprimer vis-à-vis -vis de lui ma gratitude. The chamber, the president, the le président, le National Defense Council. I would like to respond to Mr. De Hong Kong soon. I said that because amongst all the victims, none, parmi les victimes, uh, none of the victims of the civil party ever, ever acknowledged that Deutsch personally killed or executed anyone. And that's why I said uh, in my statement. jamais tué qui que ce soit en personne, et c'est ce que je voulais dire dans ma déclaration. Le Président, What has been raised by the parties Based on the individual understanding, however, please be reminded that everything spoken in the chamber is recorded properly in the transcript, and it is upon the chamber's discretion to analyze the transcript in order to make decision and judgment. So what is said by one party cannot be amended by another party. Only that party who makes the statement can be can amend his or her own statement. And actually the time allocation has been gone and now it's 15 minutes past 12 already and it could impact the attendance of the public. So the request for the amendment is correct if it's done properly, but now the chamber would like the accused to continue with his observation. The accused. I would like not to talk about my understanding. It is of my opinion that the crime against humanity was born after the 17th April 1975, and it completely finished. On the 6th of January 1979, that was the day Damok Mok was arrested and put in prison for ready to be tried. Let me talk about the consequence of the regime of the crime against humanity. The consequences are tremendous and extensive and long-lasting. 
Even at that time, the consequence is still ongoing. Longtemps, et qu'on le ressent notamment encore aujourd'hui. So the testimony of Dr. Chum Sotira shows very aspects of the consequences, and I acknowledge uh, the proper conduct based on the scientific research. Ce, notamment grâce aux résultats des recherches scientifiques. I personally who was responsible for S21, I am responsible for the criminal mechanism and I determined that I am responsible for all crimes committed at S21. I accept it legally and accept it psychologically. And secondly, I can get you, Elias Deutsch, is not responsible over all the security office throughout the country, but I am a member of the Communist Party, and I am still responsible psychologically for all crimes committed on the people and on the country as a nation throughout that regime. I am deserve whatever deemed necessary by the Cambodian people, and I personally Pour ma part, when I challenged and faced the victims, the widows, victimes, aux veuves, the orphans, aux orphelins, there have been several widows, they can condemn me here. I allow that to happen. I bow myself before them so that they can see that victimes. I acknowledge my crime. Je reconnais les crimes que j'ai commis. Regrettably, some other widow did not have the opportunity to do so. First of all, I thought Chao Seng probably did not come to lodge the application and condemned me. But I learned that Madame Chao Seng is still alive. They have not been in a divorce, but she has not placed a complaint. Secondly, Tang Polin, my former teacher, that was the original name that I learned of, but after 79, the name was changed to Li Pon Polin. She used her husband's name, but I have not seen the complaint made by her in order to condemn me. I do not know the reasons behind that, but I, I believe the principle of Dr. Chim Sotira, they received or they suffered or experienced the psychological trauma, and I would bow and respect all those widows from a distance, including Madame Chao Sen and Madame Van Bolin. Separately, regarding the orphans, there have been a considerable number of them lodging the application here, but none have appeared before the chamber yet. I think there have been 10 applications made by the orphans. Regardless whether they lodge the application or not, I am still responsible. And I would bow myself to acknowledge, to hear what they would want to say, or the consequence of the crimes, or the psychological trauma they experienced. And I think this will need time to solve properly. So, in summary, the outstanding achievement of Dr. Chum Sotira, I do not deny any aspect of it, and I fully accept and acknowledge it with respect. And also, my respect goes to all the general public in the public gallery. The president the AB unit need to change the DVD for the recording and when it's done please report to the chamber. Je demande donc au service audiovisuel de le faire et d'en rendre compte ensuite à la chambre.
Hello, the Mr. President. Mr. Doctor, the Chamber Mr. would like to acknowledge your participation, Doctor, nous vous remercions de votre participation in this proceeding. À la procedure. As invited by the Chamber, your testimony regarding the psychological feeling and the trauma and the impact experienced by the victims and survivors victims of the Democratic Cambodia regime is valuable and tremendous for the chamber to consider and to make judgment fairly without bias. The proceeding this morning has come to an end, and actually it's a little bit over time. The chamber would like to apologize for the inconvenience that we would like to have it finished for the morning session. The chamber will resume its hearing in the afternoon, Nous starting from 1.30 p.m. And the parties to the proceedings and the audience are reminded that the chamber will hear the objections of the civil party by the defense council and the response made by the civil party council. The chamber will start from 1.30 and resume and adjourn at 3.30. The chamber plans to have an internal meeting yesterday afternoon, but it was canceled. The chamber needs to discuss and make decisions on certain pending issues and will inform the parties to the proceedings accordingly at a later stage. Security guards take the accused back to the detention facility and bring him back before 1.30 in the afternoon. The hearing is adjourned. All rise, says the graph here.